this too much on his plate for Kyle Shanahan? First time head coach. It, 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 it's tough. I would say there's more than just going out, calling plays, writing up game plans, and coaching certain players. The operational standpoint of being a head coach, um, the logistics, you know, worrying about guys, the, the, the salary cap, I mean, bringing players in and out, evaluating players. We could talk all day of the responsibilities so of the head coach, but there is a lot. So yeah. I just hope he has a great support system. I hope he has a lot of coffee. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's going to be – it's hard because I remember how, how much time Tom Coughlin would spend just on situational stuff. Right. And he was great at it. So is something going to suffer? That's the only thing that I worry about. Are you going to forget to call a timeout in a certain situation because you're trying to figure out what third down play you want to call? I mean, there's so much that goes into this, and he's not even going to have an offensive coordinator. That's the other thing that's kind of crazy to me is my head coaches would always go up to their room and manage the whole situation and see what's going on with everybody and be in every room, pop in and out. Well, Kyle's going to be full in on the offensive game plan side. So that's going to draw even more stress on him. So that's going to be difficult. Well, will he have a guy calling plays on the sideline if he's up in the booth, or will he spend time on the sideline? And, that, and the other point is, if you got a really great defensive coordinator, I don't think you need to look over his shoulder and manage that no, because absolutely. he can be making adjustments on the bench with the, with exactly. the offense. Well, Kyle's going to be on the sideline for sure as the head right. coach, right? He wouldn't, he wouldn't be up in the booth as the head right. coach calling plays. Right. But that's a good point. It, it, coupled with the fact that you have a first-time general manager. That's the most interesting part to me. Kyle's been around football his entire life. He's watched his dad run an organization, be the CEO of the Broncos and right. then the Redskins. Mm -hmm. But John Lynch, he's, he's, this is a learning process for him. So they're going to lean on each other and kind of be learning as they go together. They're both learning from inexperience. I mean, they're both like there and trying to figure it out at the same time. Hopefully Kyle just calls his dad. Just call your dad, dude. Like, just pick up the phone. Like, Mike, dad, whatever you call him, man, just, just give a buzz every once in a while. He'll be around camp a lot. Right. I think Mike's just right. some cabo playing a little golf. He might be available.